a lady called me and tell me how much more she has a husband in the spirit i said did you marry him who called the bride twice so now you come to me at night all the time and we have sex in fact we have children in the spirit i said well where did they do the naming ceremony who was present at your wedding ceremony that husband is illegal but when he comes i cannot resist him i just he just slept with me what is going on in your life is an operation of power and no matter how the lady say no it's not possible how many of you have had encounters at night a spirit come to force themselves on you you may say no and no and no your no doesn't make sense the only thing that will make sense is for you to grow spiritually when you grow when the spirit come a dagger will appear in your hand a sword will appear something will be enough answer to that spirit and you will find yourself fighting now put out the protocol of prayer because i know the only way is not now it's not knowledge now knowledge is good but when power is against your life you don't need some knowledge what you need is something level of power i say wake up by 12 and begin to pray for just two two hours 12 to 2 12 to 2 every day she be the spirits to come by one o'clock give it one hour before the time and one hour extra let the spirit come and meet you praying let me see when the spirit came the man stood i said you 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 i know you will stop this praying but this when you stop i will continue i not told i don't stop praying tell the spirit you are not willing to stop praying because as long as you stop praying he will come again many people the testimony of their life was that when they began praying they were victorious when they stopped praying they became victims of the devil the kingdom of god is exercised by power the kingdom of god is exercised by wisdom so when we say thy kingdom come we are actually saying that we want the lord to war on behalf of us against the system of darkness one of the greatest danger and deception that we have come upon in the body of christ is to neglect the process that brought us thus far and focus so much on the result many people are so much interested in the spotlight and the result and they forget about the process so an average believer right now admire every level of glory he sees you forget to realize that every level of glory comes from a lot of pain it's easier for you to see a nice hair upon a lady and admire it but she tell you how, maybe she'll stay in the salon for like four hours you will think it's a waste of time and if she tell you that that hair costs like ten thousand or five thousand you now say ha you are not wise but that was what you admire what i needed to know is that if truly you want to know the lord is going to cost you a lot if you truly want to join him because it's going to cost you a lot prayer is supposed to be one of the basic pericosa requirement for you to be able to advance in this kingdom and everyone that can be enlisted into this army have to follow the same process if prayer was what bring you this far prayer will have to take you thus far i know a lot of people are so much interested in sharing a lot of rema that is good but any rema and any revelation that does not bring you to the place of prayer is a waste of time it will never profit you many of us have known too many things in our head and these things that we have known have become too bogus upon our head that has made us become so proud and arrogant that is why we need a lot of prayer for us to be able to be humble either ways if we don't abide by that we are going to dry up i realize that the same way that god encounter us in the same way he's going to encounter our generation and if God must encounter our generation, he has to walk through us to reveal himself to our generation. 